Hello everyone, welcome to News Roundup number 184 in the slower version. Two maternity hospital doctors in Bristol were called in to carry out Britain's first caesarean birth of a gorilla. The Daily Mirror reports that Professor David Carhill and Dr. Anamana Ali performed the operation on 11 year old mother Kira, who was suffering from life threatening pre eclampsia. It was feared both mother and baby would die if she went into labour. But after a two and a half hour operation, the doctors delivered the baby, which weighed only two pounds ten ounces. It took eight people at Bristol Zoo to carry 20 stone Kira into a clinic at the zoo after she was given an anaesthetic in her compound. Professor Cahill, who has done 3,000 c-sections on humans, said, along with having my own children, this is probably one of the biggest achievements of my life and something I will certainly never forget. It was so mind-blowingly different from anything we normally do. This enormous gorilla was asleep on the table and we had to close off the scared bit of the brain to concentrate on the operation. The Daily Express revealed a fascinating insight into the Queen's relationships with her corgi dogs. According to animal psychologist Dr Roger Mugford, at feeding times each dog had an individually designed menu, including an array of homeopathic and herbal remedies. As I watched, the Queen got the corgis to sit in a semicircle around her and then fed them one by one in order of seniority. The others just sat and patiently waited their turn. The Daily Star tells us that Manchester is Britain's UFO capital. According to the Mutual UFO Network, flying saucers are spotted above the city every fortnight. In the last year, sightings included mystery craft, five metallic objects in a triangle formation, and a green, a red-green ball flying at great speed. The iconic British steam engine, the Flying Scotsman, is back in action, reports the Daily Mail. The train has undergone a £4.2 million restoration and underwent a practice run between York and Scarborough in her original British Rail Green Livery. 
What a wasteful lot we are. The Guardian newspaper says that 34 tonnes of beef is thrown away in the UK every year. Latest research from the Love Food Hate Waste campaign shows that around £260 million worth of raw and cooked beef items go to waste each year in UK households. However, they claim that much of this could be avoided through simple steps such as planning meals in advance, storing food better, understanding date labels, serving the right portions and making better use of leftovers. Here's a challenging recipe for your taste buds. A Daily Mirror story tells how a shop in Morriston, Swansea is set to serve up chocolate kebabs. Also on the menu at the chocolate kebab shop will be crepes, waffles and churros filled with Nutella, syrup or cream and topped with fresh fruit. The Daily Express ran a poll to find out which biscuit is the tops for dunking, that is, dipping it into a cup of tea. And Bourbon's won with 29% of the vote, followed by chocolate digestives. Third place went to custard creams and fourth was hobnobs. And very tasty they are too, even if they're not very good for you. Hope you enjoyed that and uh, that it was slow enough for you, but you can always listen to it again. Bye.